Hey guys, Eric Sider here, and uh, this is a new series I'm starting called My Permaculture Story. Basically just looking back over the uh, past 10 or so years and all the uh, good times and misadventures and bad mistakes and good success and uh, all good fun along the way. Hopefully there'll be uh, some inspiration, education, and uh, at the very least, a cautionary tale on what not to do. Um, first one's a doozy. Let's get into it. All right, the first one is really quite unbelievable, but a uh, heck of a thing to experience. Uh, definitely something I would not recommend anybody do on purpose, but anyway. Here we go. So, my first internship with uh, Jeff and Nadia Lawton at Zaytuna Farm at the Permaculture Resource Institute in Australia. I had been there, I don't know, maybe a month or so. Honestly, a lot of the details are a bit foggy, but the important information is definitely imprinted on my brain. There's a bit of transition going on at the farm itself, as there tends to be, but um, Jeff was away on a consultancy within Australia and uh, Nadia had asked me if I wanted to help her bring the cows in for the night. Of course I agreed and as uh, always Bluey, their uh, Australian cattle dog, was coming with you no matter where you went. Uh, always looking for a job. If you know anything about Blue Healers, you know they take very little encouragement to get into trouble or get into work and if you're not giving them constructive work they're definitely going to get into trouble. I had uh, basically no farm experience, no working dog experience really, so I didn't realize the uh, proper way to use a cattle dog that's not formally trained as a cattle herder is uh, very cautiously. But I on the other hand decided to Send Bluey full tilt into about seven dairy cows, and uh, if I remember correctly, we're down by the Wood Duck Dam on Zaytuna Farm, and uh, Bluey took off like a shot right into the cows. The cows freaked out, scattered everywhere, and a few of them, more than half I'd say, uh, crossed over the electric wire fence into the track along the creek. And of course, I'm freaking out. Nadia's probably like, what the heck did you just do to my cows? Of course, she didn't say that, but uh, you can imagine what she was thinking. Anyway, I just start running towards the cows that went over the fence and into the creek and uh, managed to chase slash herd them all along the track till uh, the other side where it gets flat and the other um, kind of where the river flat is pasture. But now they're not running for their lives, so they're not going to cross over electric tape. So I had to go take down a few sections of tape, backtrack, and then uh, encourage them across the way, which fortunately they did. Then realizing I was missing a few cows, I ran back down the creek, um, and this track is uh, pretty steep. There's about two tracks running parallel to the creek, and it's a good slope. And it was a rainy season, so you can imagine things are a bit slippy. The creek was full on running. And I see Poppy, who is the prize Jersey dairy cow and Billy the bull hanging out there. So I run around to their backside and start encouraging them along. And Billy's up on the high track, Poppy's down on the low track. And of course she decides to go up across to meet up with Billy. Ordinarily fine, but being that she's Good sized cow, you know, I don't know, exactly close to a thousand pounds, something like that. She starts sliding backwards. And for some reason, I take a step towards the cow, like, I don't know what the heck I was thinking I was gonna do, but other than just get myself trampled by a cow, but thankfully, whether out of fear or common sense, I froze and then just watched this cow sliding down the hill 
uh, her feet must have caught a root or something because then she shifted like this. And uh, what would you know? We're about 10 foot drop to the river. So a complete full circle barrel roll splash into the water. And uh, I don't honestly I don't know what I was thinking. I was mostly probably thinking, holy F, Jeff's going to kill me and kick me off his farm. But then uh, instinct kicked in and I just started running down the running down the river flat and uh, for, got ahead of Poppy because the river was moving pretty good. I'm in jeans and just, you know, not really farm gear. Definitely not swimming attire. So I'm thinking I'm going to take my jeans off so I don't, you know, go swimming in my jeans. So I get my belt off and then just slide right into the water. Say, like, well, I'm already wet. So yeah, so I start swimming over, catch up to Poppy and kind of push steer her up to the side so she can climb up and now she's on the bank and you know like my heart's pounding i'm freaking out and uh then i just get out of the water myself and i look up and there's like 12 to 15 foot cliff here and i'm like what how the you know am i gonna get this cow out of the river so i Realized I can't do anything at this point. So I'm able to move up creek a bit to where it's a less steep and I can actually scrabble my way up, grab it on roots and vines and whatever, get up there, book it up to the house, tell Nadia that, uh, did, yeah, your cow's in the river. Uh, she's up on the bank, but there's no way she's getting out of there. I mean, I don't know what she was thinking. But so then we all go down with and it's getting dark at this point of course so we get uh some flashlights uh run back down there and we see you know there's basically there's not a lot of land for her and then it just so happens that where i got her up on land is where two creeks actually meet i believe it's uh terrania creek which goes by the property and then rocky creek which comes in from the side and there's like a little island peninsula there that's, you know, slowly getting eroded. But then that actual island attaches to the neighbor's property on the other side. So she's like, you got to get the cow over there so we can hopefully get it into the neighbor's yard. And I'm like, how the heck am I going to get a cow that just fell in a river to go back in the river to go across? And she's like, oh, I just lift up its tail. It'll go. I'm like, okay, sure. So I start lifting the tail and Poppy's like looking at me like what don't touch me you stupid human but uh I get a you know put a little oomph into it and she moves gets her ends up across the creek onto the little island and I think she's basically had enough at that point she's like I'm not moving she just sits down and uh, it's like you go figure out how to get me across to the paddock but I'm not doing anything right now <clears throat> so I'm like she doesn't want to move he's like all right well guess what we had to go pick up Jeff at the airport so let's go so I get across the creek and of course uh Nadia was just uh, getting her learner's permit so she couldn't drive herself so I had to drive which that was a whole nother story uh essentially learning how to drive stick shift on the wrong side of the road good stuff uh anyway go up you know get changed wash off get in the car get to the airport um and I'm, the whole time i'm thinking just gonna kill me what is like how the hell do i tell him i threw his cow in the river essentially um we get there pick up jeff Hey, how's it going? How's the consult? Yeah, yeah, good, good, okay. Um, guess what, mate? Uh, Poppy, your prized dairy cow. Yeah, she fell in the river. Um, she's on the island, attached to the neighbor's yard. I don't know how to get her out. And he basically didn't react. I mean, he'd probably be an amazing poker player if he wanted to be. And I was just like, why is this guy not yelling at me, cursing me out? What's going on? And, uh... Just recently, I had asked him about it, and he said, 
I was just thinking, how the heck am I gonna get this cow out of the river? So we go back, um, you know, it's fully dark by now. We go check on Poppy and she's still on the island. She'd moved up to a little bit of the higher ground and he's like, well, there's nothing to be done about it now. We're just gonna have to get out first light and uh, take care of it. So of course I didn't sleep at all. I'm just racking my brain with guilt. I will say for myself, I did jump in the creek after the cow, so I hope I somewhat redeem myself on that one. Anyway, we get up first light, uh, Jeff and I get in the truck, drive all the way around, which is probably like close to a quarter quarter to a half mile to get to the other side by road. Um, pull into the neighbors, uh, Jeff goes up, hey mate, I gotta get my cow. Yeah, no problem, all right. Typical Aussie fashion. Um, so we both walk down there and we start herding her back up, up onto the kind of like peninsula thing. And which is because of the two creeks are, uh, hitting each other. It's uh, really starting to erode and it's this very thin strip. So she gets up there and then walking and then almost turns and goes right off the cliff again. But thankfully both Jeff and I, I think simultaneously were just like, whoa. And uh, she kind of froze and then continued on down to the more gradual up into the pasture. Get her around back to the road and he's like, all right, I'm going to walk her back. You get in the ute and or the, the ute, that's a uh, Aussie for truck. Uh, you get in the truck and just drive slow behind us. So he's uh, basically hurting her on the road. And at this point, her udders are just bursting because she would have been milked by now. So they're swinging and there's just milk's just shooting out. And like, what a sight it must have been. And he's like, yeah, you know, all the old timers having a good laugh. Get her all the way back down the hill. As soon as she gets into the property line, she's off, knows exactly where she's going to meet up with her herd. She definitely gave me the death stare for the rest of my time there. But uh, moral of the story is don't send a blue healer into a pack of cows when you don't know what the hell you're doing. That's how the cow fell in the river. Definitely one of my uh, craziest adventures uh, thus far. Um, good learning lesson. Definitely a heck of a story. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, hit the like button. Consider subscribing. Uh, we're definitely going to bring out some other good ones. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. All right, we'll see you next time.